Four victims are shot, two dead, at a house party on Labor Day. It happened off Manchester Avenue on Kansas City's southeast side. Fox 4 heard from neighbors two years ago when they were complaining about parties at this same home. Fox 4's Tia Johnson joins us now from KCPD headquarters tonight. And Tia, you have been able to learn quite a bit about what's been happening at this house. Yeah, Christelle, when we did the story two years ago, the home was listed as a private rental. I talked to one of the homeowners today. He told me it's no longer listed as an Airbnb. This was a back to school party for college students that had several security officers on site. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. You can't let a thousand people or the number of people they had up there. Lonnie Jackson is frustrated once again because a home in his neighborhood is allegedly causing problems. It's been a problem for over three years. He's lived in the Candlelight Ridge neighborhood since 1973 and says it's been a quiet neighborhood up until a couple of years ago. Jackson says he and other neighbors have made calls to the police and city leaders about the home. Shaka laka boom boom all night long. It's a shame. Jackson says he and other neighbors complained to prevent what happened on Labor Day. Kansas City, Missouri police were called to the home off Manchester Avenue Monday night. Four people were shot, including two people who were killed. KCPD announced the victims as Deshaun Dudley and Dondre Hart. We need help out here. We need it right now because what's happening should not be happening. When Fox 4 shared neighbors' concerns in 2020, the home was listed as a private rental called the B Estate. We recently talked to the owners who say they are no longer renting out the home as an Airbnb. They told us some college students were using the home's pool for a back to school party where there were several security officers. But they shouldn't have to put security guards in this neighborhood. It's not zoned for nothing taking place up there. And we reached out to KCPD, a spokesperson told me the only other call the department has received this year was for an intrusion alarm. So far, no one has been arrested for the shootings yesterday. Tia Johnson, Fox 4, working for you.